Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today is April 1st and I haven't come up with a good April 1st fool you video this year so this is a regular video just to make sure that you know that so you're not expecting me to um, to cheat you at any point but I have some hard drives here and these are broken bad well they're not completely broken but they're they're bad Hewlett Packard drives that um, they're not completely dead they're just very very slow yeah they're dodgy as heck they still spin and work in some regards but for an example if I put one of these drives in the server it will uh, spend the first 10 minutes trying to boot and it will eventually boot but yeah then it's just slow as heck every time that it needs to drive um, but I got some suggestions in the video that I should try and firmware update these and yeah that's not a bad idea I am not sure it's gonna help anything but it's probably not gonna hurt either so uh, I thought we should try that so I have um, let's see what I have here this is the, the IBM X3650 model 4 uh, inside there is a Hewlett Packard uh, HPA um, for, for the drives so it's connected to an HPA and it's an HP HPA so we should be able to communicate with these HP drives over here I have four drives they have checked out to be okay but some of them has older firmware on there so even though they're okay if I get this firmware updating up and going I might as well firmware update them as well then I have this drive here which has a model number here it's an MB0 10,000 JWAYK that's one drive then I have three of these drives they have almost the same but it ends on JWRTE and I have three of those and they are not very good they're that dodgy and uh, slow and stuff then I have another drive here in a bag uh, which is the same model as this but I haven't tested this out yet it's a, a new dodgy drive so yeah I searched on the intergalactic web and uh, downloaded I searched for the model number of the drive and HPE and firmware and I found some packages from HPE that was free to download so that is kind of awesome so they're on the USB stick I have already copied them to the server here they are the first one that CP035 595 that uh, that was this drive and that should be this drive has software on it that's called HPD03 and that should be an HPD04 available for this drive then the second one you can probably search for these uh, CP041011 that's for these drives and this one has a package HPD2 the newest one was 2 but there were some of the other ones that only had a 1 on there so uh, yeah let's try and install those packages and see what happens let's start with this one that's where I had the most drives that would need updating so it tells us what we want to hear uh, you can see the the model number of the drives that this can update it can update uh, 10 terabytes 12 terabytes and 14 terabytes I was thinking about making an April Fool's video where I would claim to be putting on firmware from a 12 terabyte but yeah, I gave up I did I didn't think it was funny so uh, install oh okay it's complaining that it doesn't see a hard drive of the sort that we want to update so okay i'm gonna need to pop one in here is one right over my finger that it has the version one of this firmware so when we pop that in and this is disk manager and the drive does show up i have called it test tree because i have been testing on this and some of them when I run this uh, HD tune thing it will uh, it will do some weird spikes and uh, yeah my experience is that those are not good so but with that drive in there let's try that software again let's run that again try and install 
Yep, now we want our install. Thank you. Okay, the installation has been complete. Please review the information about the process below. In order to be successful, you may look at the setup log for more detailed info. Oh, I do wonder where I see the firmware. Okay, I just found where I can see it in the HD tune. Uh, now, if I, if I pick uh, the Hewlett Packard drive here and I select information, it actually brags about being HPD2 down here. So, apparently, it, it has the new firmware on there. So, cool. I don't know if the drive needs to be updated before we can do it. We can try and run a benchmark, see. Um, if it does weird stuff, that's usually not a good thing. Close that. Start. If it, if, yeah, it's not good. When it does that, that's not great. It, it has to do something like this, then it's okay. When it does that, that's not great. And it did it again. Those spikes going down. I found when it when it does that, the drive is very dodgy. You can see the minimum transfer rate is 5.1 megabytes per second. That's so slow. So yeah, let's run this and see uh, what it ends up looking like. Uh, yeah, this is not a great result. It's uh, it's not supposed to do that. I think I'll let's try and update one of the drives that are okay, and we'll see the comparison then in, instead of this. So this drive is the same model, and it's also in HPD one. So we're gonna try and firmware update that, and hopefully we get a better result. Okay, this one is called test 5. It shows up when I popped it in. Uh, I just want to check the HD tune again. Make sure what it says before we update it. Oh, it also says HD HPD2. So maybe this is already updated. Hmm. That's not great. Well, I can't see the difference. Well, we'll upgrade it anyway. Just try and see what it says. Maybe it will complain that it doesn't need to. Okay, it says it's good. Close. It says the same thing. Let's try and run this. Okay, that's what it looks like when uh, when it's okay. Um, I found you can kind of see that all the way the hard drive is uh, it's transferring with over 200 megabytes per second, which is that's that's lying there. So it's a really good transfer rate from a spinning disk, and all the way up to well 237 megabytes per second and down to 215. So it's a really good drive. Okay, here is another drive that was perfectly okay. So um, that was also good, but I have firmware updated that as well. Uh, I don't think it needed it, but I, I ran it now that I had it up and running. So yeah, let's try one of the bad drives. So this one has a D on it. So um, that means touchy. <laughs> I don't know, let's pop that in. And it should pop up here in a little bit. Oh. There it is. Okay, let's check what firmware it says it has. It probably has the same as the other ones. Yeah, it also says that it has version 2. Yeah, this one is too dodgy. It, uh, it failed. It went all the way from 238 megabytes per second and to a uh, 0.1 megabytes per second and well it's just it, it's not good so let's cancel that one 
Okay, this is another one of the good drives. Uh, no issues with that. It, it's not as good as some of the other ones. It's fairly quick as maximum, but it had a real dip uh, at the minimum here. So, but it's still good in my book. I had one of the bad drives here. This one didn't show up at all. So it's, it's very dutchy, very bad. Um, but let's move to um, to the other brand here and try the other software. So I'll put this one in. There we are, that's called Test 4. So I have tested this and therefore it has, an, has a number. So let's try the other software package. That one there. Looks about the same. Let's install. Okay, so apparently the drive that I have in there has a newer firmware than what I'm trying to put on it. Yeah, that's not smart. So that's not gonna work for me. I don't want an older version on there. Not in this case anyway. Uh, so we are not gonna install that. I uh, cheated and I went and I found out that there is actually an even newer version. So uh, that should be that one. I just downloaded that. So let's try that. See, HPD6. I did check the other one and they're uh, HPD2 on on the on these white label drives that is the newest one that is available sadly but on these drives there is a version 6 available there was actually more than one version 6 available there was ABC I think this was C but yeah generally it was the latest and the greatest so let's try and put that on there So that's a little bit better. It says that uh, the software is installed, but there, but it's not up to date. Current version is HPD5, and we have HPD6 up here. So we're gonna install that. So cool, we found a newer version. <laughs> that went well. It's happy. Cool. Close. Oh, we forgot to see it in here. It doesn't say the right foot. Oh, we are on the wrong right. Okay. That one. HPD6, it says. Let's try and test. This is one of the bad drives, so I'm not. Well, if we managed to save one drive, that would have been a win win. But I, I kind of see already that it's not doing much for us but let's see how this looks when it's done yeah this doesn't look great it's it's still dodgy uh, i'll run it once more just to uh, to see if it just needed to be warmed up okay i ran this again and even with new firmware it's um it's not that great so yeah eh. so the awake uh, viewer will see that there are suddenly four files here for for firmware for these drives it actually turned out that uh, this HPD2 was in an ABCD uh, version so I got the latest one that's the one that is blue right now I have tried to put that on it did absolutely no difference whatsoever but it was able to go on there without any problems I only have one drive left uh, this is one of the good ones but, but it's the other model number this is the JWAUK. We're gonna try and put that one in. On the drive it said that it had HPD3, so that would be an older one. But let's try and run the software and see what it says. So it says that the software version, the one that we are putting on here is HPD6, but it already has HPD5. We can update that. There, it's updated. So let's try this one and pick the drive and see the info. HPD6, good. And then run the benchmark. Okay, that drive seems to be perfectly good. So um, no change there. 
So actually the drives that was bad before are still bad and the drive that was good before is still good. So this makes no difference whatsoever. So I have four good drives and I have four bad drives. And then I have the new mystery drive. We haven't tested this yet, so we don't know if it's if it's good or if it's bad. So we'll we'll take that out. It comes in a case. So we don't need the case right now, so yeah. If you are in need of uh, cases, I have some cases for sale. This one is for sale uh, in my little shop. Links is in the description of my videos. If you need some hardware, a, a tray, Hewlett Packard tray, they are available in great numbers. So uh, this one, we don't know. It has a HPD2 on it and um, has been uh, messing up. So let's pop it in. Yeah. Okay, it pops up here. Uh, drive number four is an unknown offline. So first we need to put it online. There. And then it tells me that it's not initialized. So, okay, we'll initialize drive. It's kind of easy. Drive 4, GPT, that's how I've done all the other ones. So we'll do that. And then we'll do a simple volume on it. Next, next, next. I'll call it tests. And I think I'm up to nine. And next. It's uh, formatting. It did that fairly quick, so that's always a good thing. Let's check HD tune here. What it says. HD HPD2, so it has some firmware on there. Good. Not too old. So, but let's just put the newest on there. That one. Now that we have it. There we are. Let's just put that on there. And it's gonna be very exciting to see if this is a good drive or if it's a bad drive. So oh, oh. Ew, that was too far down to be comfortable. Yeah, this seems to be a bad drive. Let's get back to that. Okay, this isn't great. Um, it's always irritating when you have a 10 terabyte hard drives that, uh, that does this because as you have seen, it's supposed to lay up there all the way and then it's a good drive. When it does that, it, it clearly shows that the drive is dodgy as heck. So, eh. Yeah, that was really too bad. I was hoping for a new good drive and then I got another dodgy drive. I am um, I'm waiting for a device for these dodgy drives because I'm hoping to still use them for something. But it's not very nice to have to put them in a server every time you want to use it for something. So I'm waiting for a solution for that. So, um, But we're waiting for the mailman on that one. So um, yeah, I uh, firmware updated a bunch of drives and it made absolutely no difference in, in this scenario. Uh, it's a good idea to keep the drives up to the latest and the greatest firmware. It might avoid problems in the future, but well, in, in this case, it didn't make much of a difference. But yeah, we firmware updated some drives, definitely. So if you wouldn't mind giving this video a like, we did something. We managed to firmware update some drives, always good. Other than that, I will just remind my patrons to watch the Patreon videos that I put out on Patreon every week. So um, yeah and I'm watching you, you're not watching them. So yeah, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.